Hello and welcome to the training on the Tile Estimizer. This is an overview of the tool. Uh, there are other trainings on how to measure square footage and tile components, that kind of thing, that we won't be delving into on this training. This is just to give you an idea on how to navigate through the tool. Also, the tool that you may be using uh, may have a different color scheme, uh, will have definitely different uh, uh, photographs and information at the top here. This is uh, an, a sample for uh, a fictitious guy, Tile Ty L. Guy, who owns a tile company and is expert estimator, D expert. However, although it may look a little bit different, the functionality should be basically the same. So the the purpose of this tool is to give you the uh, uh, tile customer who has a tile project a way to have an idea uh, of not only what options you have available to you for your tile project but also what those costs are going to be for the particular contractor that uh, you want to work with. Uh, as always we do suggest that you get a customized on-site bid when you're ready to do so uh, but this just lets you Again, do this on your own, kind of educate yourself about some of the things to look for uh, in, a, in a good way to, to get a free estimate. So that's what our first page here, the start page, tells us. The next thing that we need to do is click on the second tab over on materials. And this will talk about the tile gallery. And in this particular case, there are going to be five groups. Group one, which is the least expensive, to group five. And again, in this case, there are actually, if we click on it, this is for uh, Tile Scout, but there are going to be four different types of uh, tile series in each one of the, the groups. And so you can scroll through, and again, in this case, uh, you could click on the links and download the PDF documents that, uh, uh, that would catalog the different sizes and styles and colors and that kind of thing. Now, the, again, your contractor may have an actual tile gallery of jobs that they have done in the past uh, or from other suppliers or manufacturers, whatever uh, is available in your area. Uh, but again, the, the important idea there is to, to understand that the way the tool works is to separate out your tile into groupings. So it's not going to show you an exact price. It's going to be more of, a, of an estimate. Uh, for the different types of tile that may be available to you. Okay, so once we've decided what kind of tile we want to uh, look at and what we probably want to install, then we're ready to take some measurements. Now, again, if you've never measured square footage, it's actually quite simple. We're not going to get into the how on this training. There's another one available to you for that. But we're just going to walk through and show you how to, once you've, uh, as you do your measurements that you can quickly and easily put it into the tool here and and the tool will do all the calculating for you all you have to do uh, to, is to use your tape measure get the feet and inches put it into the the tool and uh, you're ready to go okay so let's say that we've measured out we're gonna do let's say we're gonna do two floors we're gonna do a kitchen area and one bathroom and so we've measured out the kitchen area and let's say that it's an 18 by 6, and I'm just making these numbers up, uh, by uh, 12 feet 8 inches. But let's say that they're in the middle there's an island that we're not going to tile underneath, uh, so we want to take that out. Uh, so the breakout areas, uh, we can sometimes, let's say that I had a closet that I wanted to add in. So I could use that as an additive, which is this green plus or I can use it as a deductive which is what we're going to do so let's say that the island is five feet by four inches and I'll have to click on the button for a deductive to pull that amount of square footage out of my estimate okay so make sure that you select the the tile uh, group pricing let's say that you've decided on a group three that you want to have underlayment and waterproofing on this particular uh, uh, area now, we talked about having two areas. We're going to do a bathroom and a kitchen. Uh, you could actually, there could be separate areas in the same floor, uh, different areas meaning different rooms, however you want to 
you know however it best works for your project there's no right or wrong way but you do want to understand that your floors and your base are tied together for a particular area so if you're gonna have base in your kitchen then we would click on the base and we can see here that the area one uh, button is still highlighted and then you could put in your information but let's just say that the kitchen area is going to have a wood base that's going to be done by your carpenter so uh, we can move on to the next area which we said is our bathroom we're still on floors in our area two we're going to go with uh, the least expensive uh, tile group one in here it's a smaller bathroom so we're going to say it's five feet six inches by seven feet oh, I don't know three inches okay uh, we are going to do an underlayment and a waterproofing and uh, uh, so we're we're good there let's say that we are going to have a base here now we've already done our measurements one side of the of the room is five foot six and the other is seven three so we know that actually if we just double those up so ten feet six inches or twelve inches which is going to be eleven feet so we can do that so that happens just to be 11 feet even and our next one is going to be 14 6 but we have a doorway so we're going to take out for the doorway so we don't have to put base around the doorway so that's three feet so that would be 13 6 uh, not 13 excuse me is if it's 14 6 it's going to be 11 feet 6 inches just making sure you're paying attention okay so again uh, 14 we're just doubling up 14 6 minus 3 is 11 6 okay uh, and uh, again we're not going to go into coved and bull nosed in in this training that'll be part of the tile components training well, let's say that we're going to put a coved tile in here and let's say that for walls again walls and floors in terms of measuring the square footage is the same uh, but we have a tub surround that uh, we're gonna go maybe six feet high just six feet even and and if you think about a tub surround it has three walls it has the back wall and then two le legs that come out at least a standard tub surround so the back wall is generally five feet and and the uh, side walls are usually somewhere between two and three let's just call it three uh, feet on the legs so that's three plus three is six plus five is eleven uh, we're gonna go let's say group two on that we're gonna put a cementitious backer there and a waterproofing and then maybe we want an accent or pattern in there just to make a little more fancy and since we're gonna have trim along the edges um, again our our tub is going to be six feet high so we're gonna have two legs that go six feet high we're gonna go three feet across the top on both sides and then five on the back but let's just say I can't really remember all that but I can remember I've got two legs that are six so I can I can either go six and six or I can just say 12 on here Remember that I had the three leg, three foot legs across the uh, the uh, top of the side, so that's six, and then we have five. There's really no right or wrong way again how to do this, and the trim is going to be bullnose, and that's it. I put in all of my measurements. Now I click on the calculate tab, and here's the disclaimer again, kind of explaining that this is meant to be a uh, a general estimate, not a customized on-site estimate for you so it's non-binding and and or final and uh, so you say yeah I get it I understand what you're saying you click on got it and that's your project estimate you can go back if that's a little bit above your budget or maybe it's under your budget uh, let's say that maybe you want to bump bump up the kitchen flooring now to group three so you can bump up that to group three and see how that affects your bid if I want to go back and maybe uh, uh, maybe I want to see the uh, uh, again uh, the group four in the bathroom and see what that does to my bid so you can just mess around with uh, the different measurements and the different
tools here available to you. And again, just to give you a, a ballpark estimate, and uh, but a, a, a very accurate estimate because it's going to be customized to your particular contractor's standard pricing on what to expect for your tile project. Okay, we appreciate your time. Hope you enjoy it and have fun with the tool. You cannot break it. Thank you, and we'll see you up on the other trainings.